Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are here for the IELTS speaking test. The entire conversation will be recorded for further verification process. Okay, let's get started. This is the mock speaking test of International English Language Testing System taking place on 11th October 2018 at Med City International Academy, Kannur. The sender number is MIAK1. The candidate is Vishnu Raghavan. And the candidate's number is 340129. The examiner is Sajil Sunni. And the examiner's number is 342431. May I see your ID? Here it is. May I know your full name, please? My name is Vishnu Raghavan Madhutil Valpur. Okay, what shall I call you? Please call me Vishnu. Who gave you your name? My parents gave me my name. My father to be exact. Do you like your name? Actually, I don't like my name because it's quite common. In your country, do people feel that their name is very important? Yes, I think so because name gives a person his identity. And suitable names, uh, some people think that suitable names would bring good fortune to them. Okay Vishnu, do you think people in your country consider their name to be very important? I think so because uh, certain people believe that suitable names bring good fortune to them and some people change their name according to the business purposes and a uh, name gives him uh, gives a person a true identity. Okay fine. Uh, is it easy to change name in your country? It's very difficult to change name in our country because we have to go through many formalities. Okay, Vishnu, what are you? I'm an engineer. I work as a project engineer in a mechanical based company. Do you like your work? Yeah, I like my work because my work includes take, taking a lot of challenges and I'm excited to take challenges. What are your responsibilities? My responsibilities include preparing documents for my projects and obtaining approval from the client. Okay. Uh, what are your hobbies? My hobbies are playing football and watching football games. What are your future plans? I would. I am planning to go to Canada and where I can pursue my dreams. Okay Vishnu, let's move to the cue card session. Your cue card is a conversation you had with a stranger. You had to talk about who the person was, when and where you met him and what did you talk to him. Here is a pen and paper if you would like to make some notes and you can use the table. Here is your cue card. I will give you a minute to prepare. Okay, your one minute is up. Uh, now you should speak for one to two minutes on your topic. Last year, when I was on my way to my hometown, I had an interesting conversation with an unknown person. Actually, I travelled to my home in a bus. Last year, when I was on my way to my hometown, I had an interesting conversation with an unknown person. I usually travel to my hometown by bus. But there was a time when the bus drivers went on a strike and I had to choose a train to travel. I was in a second class compartment and there were only 10 people in the compartment and I was sitting next to a closed window and the person sitting beside me who seemed around 45 years of age requested me to open the window. Mm. He then thanked me and asked me about myself. The conversation then went on and I learned that he was a senior employee of a government organization. He started a topic about how young people have a little passion to learn new things and how they spend most of the time uh, doing unproductive things. I defended the young generation and expressed the difference the young generation is having with the ancestors. The conversation started to turn into a debate and both of us used our logic and reasoning. The conversation was interesting and I actively participated in it. He told his reasons for that belief and when I explained my view, he did not protest, rather he uh, agreed that he learned new things from me. Besides this main topic, we also discussed about the uh, political situations of our country like the increasing child labours and uh, what all can be done to uh, decrease the crime in, in our country. Besides this main topic, we also discussed about the political situations in our country and what could be done to eliminate these problems. Okay, uh, Vishnu, let's have a discussion now. Who do you prefer chatting with, your parents or your friends? I like to chat with both my parents and friends because there are situations in life where we have to get advice from our parents. For example, when I have to, uh, when I have to select uh, my career, I like to chat with both my parents and friends 
because there are situations in life where we have to take an important decision so at that time i approached my parents and they advised me to do so and so so for example when i had to choose my career my father advised me to uh, take engineering because he has a plenty of experience and he gives, gives me a wise decision nowadays many people are regular users of social networking sites such as facebook and whatsapp and through this media they uh, chat with each other and make friends and take that friendship to the next level and uh, more than that uh, more and more people are now into schools and colleges and they meet new people and make friends too. okay let's move on to the last question what qualities do you think a good friend should have a true friend should be honest and straightforward and should never hesitate to correct our wrongs however the quality which i value the most is trustworthiness because a friend is the person whom we share our private matters